Welcome back guys. Thanks so much for spending a little time with me today to look at some of the recipes that I've created. Thank you for to my subscribers, sorry. Um, thanks to the subscribers that I've gotten thus far. Again, this channel is brand new. So um, if you will, if you like the recipes that you're seeing, if you like the content that I'm giving, um, share it for me please. I just wanna go ahead and try to build up a few followers or subscribers I should say. Um, I'm new to the YouTube world, so if you have any um, questions or any anything you want to tell me I could change or I could spruce up or just anything, anything you want to say, any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below for me. All right, today, as the um, title says, we're going to be doing a banana pudding poke cake. Now, this banana pudding poke cake is actually going to be a little bit different from the other poke cakes you've seen. This one is going to be done... The cooking beyond measure way. It is not going to be a homemade cake. It will be made with a basic box uh, cake recipe. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me just go ahead and let you know real quick. We're doing a basic um, Duncan Hines French vanilla box cake recipe. Like I said, I'm gonna add just a little bit of, um, I guess, flair of my own to this recipe, but. Um, for the most part, just follow the instructions on the box, um, which is pretty much what I'm going to do. Um, the box actually calls for a cup of water, three large eggs, a third cup of vegetable oil. And that's basically what I have. So let's go ahead and get this started. I actually made this a couple of weeks ago for the first time at home and normally a poke cake recipe would call for just a little pudding. Well, I'm going to add more than just a little pudding to mine. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and add all the ingredients. Um, go ahead and add a cup of water. Like I said, you're just going to follow the basic directions of the box, a third cup of vegetable oil, and then the three eggs that it calls for. Because this cake is not homemade, there's no particular way that you would add your ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started mixing. So go ahead and mix that all up until it's combined. All right, now that we've gotten that all mixed, uh, like I said, there are, I was gonna add a little, I guess, flair, as I said before, to my recipe. And what I'm gonna do, because it is a basic vanilla cake recipe, I'm actually going to add banana as well as vanilla extract. Um, they were actually mixed together because I only wanted to use one dish. So um, just for extra flavor in my cake, I'm adding banana and vanilla extract. That really throws the flavor out there. So we'll go ahead and mix that in as well. All right, so the batter is completely mixed together now. Um, and one thing I forgot to tell you guys, I'm sorry. Because this is, once again, a box cake mix. Go ahead and preheat your oven. But my oven is actually preheated to 300. The box cake mix is so much lighter than a homemade, uh, say, pound cake. The homemade pound cake cake mix is a lot thicker. You can have your oven a little bit higher. For this, I typically do 300 so it doesn't get too dark on top and it cooks through evenly. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Baker's Joy and we're gonna spray the pan that we're putting it in. For those who don't know about Baker's Joy, I actually use it because it actually contains flour. 
there's already flour in the mix so rather than um, greasing and flouring your pan you use the Baker's Joy and the flour is already in the mix now I'm only going across or around my pan with the brush because for some reason mine doesn't spray out as evenly as I would like it to and it could just be something wrong with the nozzle it's done that since I bought the, the can so I just go ahead and distribute it and spread it around myself all right go ahead and pour this batter in here get everything out of there I look at cooking shows all the time and I see them uh, pouring the food from the bowl or they'll take the vegetables that they're cutting and get ready to put it into a dish but I see them leave a lot of it on the counter or on the cutting board or whatever no we need that <laughs> so anyway let's go ahead and put this in the oven now <laughs> once again with me because I don't measure um, when I am baking my cakes and things I actually just go according to what I feel is ready like I said my oven is at 300 right now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in but I'm gonna continue to check it I normally check it within about 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes I'll check it now I know a lot of people say that's not really the best thing to do because then you're taking the heat away you're not baking it evenly believe me I get it but that's just the way that I'm doing it and um, this is a box cake mix so since it is a box cake mix it doesn't take as much precision as it would um, with the homemade cake mix so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the oven and I'll show you how we're gonna top this cake so with any good banana pudding recipe um, first of all a good banana pudding recipe does not call for this let's just go ahead and, and, and have this discussion right now banana pudding is made from a custard custard is a egg base egg flour milk things like that flavor um, you normally make a custard over a double boiler um, and if you don't know what a double boiler is I'll see if I can find mine and I'll probably show it to you I may not but anyway um, that's how a typical banana pudding is made a typical banana pudding a good southern banana pudding is actually put into the oven it is actually put into the oven so that it can bake just for a little bit not not long because it has to thicken now your custard is actually going to thicken as it cooks on the stove um, you you know if you opt out of putting bananas in your real banana pudding it's up to you because they will turn but that is the reason you want to use um, bananas that that have a hint of green to them those are the ones that you want to use and you actually want to put a dash of lemon on your bananas also that keeps them from turning so fast um, but anyway I see so many people come with a box banana pudding and it, it, it baffles me you know hey to each his own but I'm sorry where I come from we get over that stove and we get that custard going and we get a real homemade banana pudding going and we put meringue on top so anyway now that I've finished my rant um, for the cake that we're doing today we are in fact going to use the jello pudding this is the jello instant pudding banana cream um, any good banana pudding also is going to have vanilla wafers so we have vanilla wafers um, I'm from Memphis the brand to get it's always going to be Jackson's for some reason here in Texas in the area that I'm in there's no Jackson vanilla wafers I, I, 
don't understand that but anyway um any brand is fine but just go ahead um have your vanilla wafers ready because um it's pretty much going to be a garnish you know uh, it's going to make it cute um we're going to go ahead and start mixing this the instructions i think call for three cups of milk per package but because this is going to be on a cake and we want to be able to cut it and not be runny i make sure that mine's going to be a little thicker so i'm actually going to use about two two and a half cups per box i'm using two boxes um like i said mine is not going to be the typical um poke cake that you would normally see uh you know on, on, on other videos but anyway um let me go ahead and get this started for you all right like i said i'm going to use about two to two and a half cups per box and i have two boxes so right now we may have about five cups of milk in the bowl it has to be uh, ice cold milk so that it can go ahead and thicken for you and again you're just going to follow basic you know box instructions you know also if you want to make your own custard that's fine too this one is just a quick you know make just something i came up with you know what i mean you know everybody has their own way of doing things but this is the way that i chose to do this and people love it you know we got a request for this as a matter of fact that's the reason i'm making it today so it's up to you if you want to make your own custard but for this cake i didn't want to put a hot custard on top of my cake but i can't see why it wouldn't work either And of course, as you know, as you can tell, I'm pretty sure with a poke cake, you're actually going to poke holes in the cake. And if you're poking holes in the cake, a, a warmer custard may actually work with, you know, getting to the holes in. Because you, you're supposed to see your pudding throughout the cake. That's the, the whole idea behind the poke cake. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this mixed and it's going to take a little while because you want to make sure it starts to thicken real good. So let me go ahead and get this going. Okay, so I think that is actually thick enough. Um, let's just see. Oh yeah, that's really thick. So that's the consistency you want your pudding to be. And actually it's gonna set a little more um, as it rests. And it's going to rest in your refrigerator. So I'm gonna taste this. Good. All right, so anyway, go ahead, let this rest in your refrigerator. And get a new charger for the phone. So anyway, um, as I was saying, go ahead and take your pudding and let it rest in the refrigerator until your cake is done. When the cake is done, we'll take it out and you'll see what we're going to do. So the cake is out of the oven now and I have just the basic end of my spatula that I'm using and we're going to poke holes in it. Just randomly poke them in your cake. No... um particular rhyme or reason you just want to poke the holes all through the cake and that's basically it all right so you have your holes poked in the cake we'll take the other end of the spatula and we'll go ahead and pour the pudding I'm not putting icing or whipped cream or anything like that on top. So I'm using both boxes of the pudding that we made. All right, 
So you take that pudding. So it's pretty much a banana pudding in itself. It's just a cake. <laughs> so anyway, the pudding's pretty thick. Um, the cake is still a little warm. So if the pudding is able to melt down a little into the holes that we've poked in it, that's exactly what that's what it, you know. That's what we want it to do. Now, if you saw me earlier, kind of bounce the cake a little, it's to get the air bubbles out. This time, I'm gonna bounce it again. Uh oh. And it's just to get the the pudding down into the cake. All right, so the cookies. Now, the cookies, I am just going to sit them all the way around. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Just going to put them all the way around the cake. See if I can do it pretty fast. That one's broken, so when you got one that's broken, you normally just kind of put the broken edge down. So let me get finish putting these cookies around here. Once again, if you know me, you know I'm all about that nice looking pretty food. So I'm going to try to make this as pretty as I can. A lot of people think, well actually when I, when I brought it to work, a lot of people thought it was just a regular banana pudding. And then they got the surprise of there actually being cake under there. So anyway. There it is with, let's see if I can, nah, I'm going to go too close. But anyway, here it is with the cookies around it. And one more thing I did, took a few cookies, used my, um, let me scoot that cookie over. I used my um, roller and I crushed a few of the cookies inside a plastic bag and I'm just gonna put those cookies across the top that's all it takes pretty simple and this is your banana pudding pole cake or you can just make a regular banana pudding cake or however you want to do it it's your pudding cake you can call it what you want you can do how you want it's up to you. All right, so there it is, the finished banana pudding oat cake. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Love you lots.